वेलकम टू डी एस ई जे होम क्लासेस डियर स्टूडेंट्स हैव यू एवर सीन अ हॉरर मूवी और हॉरर शो वट डू यू फील वेन यू वॉच अ हॉरर शो और हॉरर मूवी इज देयर एटमोसफियर ऑफ फियर एंड हॉरर येस इट इज The poem which we are going to read today is a poem which is full of atmosphere of mystery, horror, suspense, eerie. The name of the poem is "The Listeners," written by Walter Delamuir. Before reading the poem, let us have an introduction about the poem. The listeners is written by Walter de la Mer. His writings have an eerie fantastic quality which serves as the means of the entry into a world of deeper reality. This poem remains one of the most famous pieces of writing and it reflects the author's fascination with mystery and the supernatural. The poet in the poem has created a beautiful scene full of mystery fear and suspense the listeners is a stanza long poem with 36 lines in the poem an unnamed figure the traveler knocks on the door of a house in the moonlight and asks if there is anybody there he visited a house in the jungle the house was lonely and deserted it was a haunted house ghosts and phantoms lived in it the traveler got down from his horse and knocked at its door again and again he repeatedly shouted for some time and got no answer the poet creates an atmosphere of silence fear and suspense in the poem here the poem starts the text of the poem starts with a question is there anybody there said the traveler knocking on the moonlit door and his horse in the silence chapped the grasses of the forest's ferny floor and a bird flew up out of the turret above the traveler's head the poem opens with a question is anybody there the opening line introduces the poem's main character set the scene and poses the question that is central to the mystery of the story the subject of the poem is the traveler he has come on a horseback from some unknown location into the scene of the poem and suddenly makes his presence by knocking on the door of the house and asking if anybody is there The fact that the traveler knocks on a moonlit door depicts poem's setting as a house at midnight while the ferny floor of a forest reveals that his house is located in the forest the presence of ferns suggests that the forest has wild grass around it the traveler's horse grazes in the quiet forest while the traveler waits for the response A bird flies out of the turret, a small tower on the house, and over the traveler's head. And he smote upon the door again a second time. Is there anybody there? He said. But no one descended to the traveler. No head from the leaf fringed sill leaned over and looked into his grey eyes. Where he stood, perplexed and still. but only a host of phantom listeners that dwelt in the lone house then stood listening in the quiet of the moonlight to that voice from the world of men the traveler again knocks forcefully and repeats his question is there anybody there no one comes down from the house to meet him no one even leans out of the window the sill of which is covered with the leaves to look at him no one responded to the knocking by the traveler 
no one came downstairs inside the house is a group of phantoms these phantom listeners stand in the moonlight as they listen to the human voice coming from the outside the knocks and shouts of the traveler were heard by the ghost who lived in that house stood thronging the faint moonbeams on the dark stair that goes down to the empty hall hearkening in an ear stilled and shaken by the lonely traveler's call and he felt in his heart their strangeness their stillness answering his cry while his horse moved cropping the dark turf the ghostly beings crowded around the staircase onto which moonlight streaks as the quiet atmosphere in the empty house is disturbed by the sound of the traveler's lonely voice the traveler speaks from the world of men and the phantoms from the supernatural world here the poet presents a contrast between the world of phantoms and that the world of the men the traveler sensed a strange presence in the silence that meets his question his horse undisturbed by all this continues to graze in the dark forest under the sky full of stars the traveler got no reply from the ghost who live in the haunted house he felt the strangeness of the atmosphere he felt the silence of the house in which the ghost seemed to be answering his call his call and his knocking at the door were answered back by nobody neat the start and leafy sky for he suddenly smote on the door even louder and lifted his head tell them i came and no one answered that i kept my word he said never the least stir made the listeners though every word he spake fell echoing through the shadowiness of the still house from the one man left awake the traveler suddenly beats on the door once again even more loudly than before he then calls out asking whosoever is listening to pass on a message that no one answered him when he came to the house but he kept his promise nobody answered his call he feels disappointed inside the house were ghosts listening to his knocking on the door the horse went on eating the grass under the starred sky and leafy trees the listeners don't make any motion in response to this the ghost in the haunted house made no movement the traveler's words reverberate through the dark empty house coming from the only living person around Here is the atmosphere of awe and mystery. He shouted out of the listeners to note that he visited according to the promise. From the one man left awake, ay, they heard his foot upon the stirrup, and the sound of iron on stone. and how the silence surged softly backward when the plunging hoofs were gone the phantom listeners heard him jump onto his horse and then the sound of the horse shoes on the stony path as the traveler rides away the silence of the forest quickly returns as the sound of the horses forceful riding fades away when the traveler had gone away the silence of the atmosphere returned the place was filled with silence again dear students hope you have enjoyed and understood the poem stay home learn the books and stay safe thank you